الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله العلم knowledge of who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is and what the religion of Islam is with its textual proofs is an obligation upon us as Muslims. This is how we know how to have fiqh fi deen and do our obligations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala said, إنه يجب علينا تعلم أربع مسائل الأولى العلم. He said, it's an obligation for us to know four things. And he said, the first thing, الأولى العلم. He said, the first thing is knowledge. And then he described what he was referring to knowledge, because it wasn't knowledge of being a doctor or a lawyer, not that those are not beneficial sciences, but that's not what, what's called ilm al in the shara. But rather, al-ula al-ilm huwa ma'rifat Allah. It is knowing Allah. It's knowing tawheed. Knowing how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly. Tawheed. Al-uluhiyya, meaning tawheed al-ibadah, tawheed of worship, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Tawheed al-rububiyya, the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the creator, he's the sustainer. And tawheed al-asma'i wa sifat, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes, that they belong only to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second thing is knowing the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How can you follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? And you don't know who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was. You don't know about his seerah. You don't know about his sunnah. You don't believe in a hadith. So this is why this is a part of knowing your religion and understanding the religion. And knowing the religion of Islam with this textual proof, meaning knowing aqidah, knowing fiqh, knowing how to practice your religion based on evidences, not based on just taqlid, saying, well, my sheikh believes this, so I believe Allah is everywhere. My sheikh believes this, so I believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not above his throne. My sheikh believes this. No, that's not what you're going to be asked about in the grave. You're going to be asked about what you know. You'll be questioned by the angels. And the only way you can have that correct answer is by knowing and understanding the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. But that obligatory knowledge you need to know. You need to know how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and where the evidence comes from. And the evidences, they come from the Quran. And the evidences, they come from the Sunnah. And the evidences, they come from the Ijma or the consensus. of the asl of the jama'ah, which is the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, and those who follow them in righteousness until, until the day of judgment. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.